Jack the Adventurer flew through space in his tiny, shiny spaceship. He was on a mission to learn about all the stars in the system. With a smile and a twinkle in his eye, Jack was ready for an adventure. First, Jack flew to the big, bright star. Hello, sunny star, Jack said. Hello, Jack. I'm the sun. I light up the whole system and keep everyone warm and cozy, said the sun, shining brightly. Next, Jack flew to the closest planet to the sun. Hello, small planet, Jack said. Hi, Jack. I'm Mercury, the smallest and fastest planet. I zoom around the sun in just 88 days, Mercury said with a speedy spin. Do you get very hot being so close to the sun? Jack asked. Yes, but I also get very cold at night because I don't have an atmosphere to keep me warm, Mercury explained. Then Jack flew to the second planet. Hello, cloudy planet, he said. Hello, Jack. I'm Venus, the hottest planet with thick swirling clouds of gas, Venus said with a warm glow. Why are you hotter than Mercury, even though you're farther from the sun? Jack asked. My thick atmosphere traps heat, making me the hottest planet, Venus explained proudly. Next, Jack visited his home planet. Hello, blue planet, he said. Hey, Jack, welcome back to Earth, Earth said with a friendly wave. It's great to see you exploring the rest of the solar system. It's nice to see you too, Earth. Did you know I met Mercury and Venus? They're pretty cool, Jack explained. Of course, we're all neighbors here. Mercury's speedy and Venus is always glowing, Earth replied. And what about our moon? Jack asked curiously. Our moon is like our faithful companion orbiting around us. It's rocky and covered in craters. Then, Jack flew to the fourth planet. Wow, you're so red and dusty, Jack exclaimed. Hi there, Jack. I'm Mars, the fourth planet from the sun. I'm red and rocky like a spicy cinnamon bun, Mars said with a wink. Why are you so red, Jack asked. It's because of the iron oxide, or rust, on my surface. It gives me my red color, Mars exclaimed proudly. Next, Jack visited the biggest planet in the system. Hello, giant planet, Jack said. Hello, Jack. I'm Jupiter, the fifth planet from the sun. I'm huge with a giant red spot that's actually a massive storm, Jupiter boomed. How big are you, Jack asked. I'm so big that all the other planets could fit inside me, and my storm has been raging for hundreds of years, Jupiter replied. Next, Jack visited the sixth planet. Nice rings, Jack cheered. Thanks, Jack. I'm Saturn, the sixth planet from the sun. My rings are like sparkly hula hoops, Saturn said, twirling proudly. How many rings do you have? Jack asked. I have seven main rings made of ice and rock. They're very beautiful, aren't they? Saturn replied. Next, Jack flew to the seventh planet. Brr, it's chilly here, Jack shivered. Hi, Jack. I'm Uranus, the seventh planet from the sun. I'm covered in ice and snow like a big frosty ice cream cone. Uranus said with a cool smile. Do you ever get warm? Jack asked. Not really, Jack. I'm one of the coldest planets in our system, Uranus replied. Jack then visited the eighth planet. Hold on to your hat, he laughed. Hello, Jack. I'm Neptune, the eighth planet from the sun. I'm super windy with big swirling clouds, Neptune said making Jack's spaceship wobble and bobble. 
How windy are you? Jack asked, holding on to his hat. My winds are the strongest in the solar system, blowing at over 1,200 miles per hour, Neptune boasted. After meeting all the stars and planets, Jack headed back home. What a fun adventure, he said with a big smile. Jack's tiny spaceship zoomed back to his cozy home, and he felt happy, knowing he had learned so much. I can't wait to tell everyone about my trip, Jack thought as he landed.